Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Damo bringing you another video. Currently, I'm on my jailbreak on PS3 and also my computer. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, make an eboot. Any eboot for any game will basically resign an eboot. So once you guys make an eboot, most of the time it's going to be a .elf file. And some other time it's going to be an eboot.bin file. And... Some anti-bans get patched, I know on Black Ops 3, Call of Duty Ghost, and Advanced Warfare, most of every single uh, anti-ban eboot gets patched around 4 days or maybe longer. It depends on what the eboot is and how many people are on it. Now, as you guys can see right here, this is going to be an eboot right here, eboot.bin. I'm going to be resigning it for Black Ops 3, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to desktop. Desktop, PS3, CFW, oops, CFW, Games, Eboot Maker, and then here this is. I'm going to leave a download link in the description below for all of you to download. So once you guys are here, you're going to open up resigner.exe. Well, actually, you're just going to delete these. So, make, there shouldn't be any files in there like that, but open up resigner.exe. You're going to get this thing. Now, you're just going to drag this eboot, you're going to drag it into the file. So, into this. You're just going to drag that eboot right in there. Make sure it's capitalized eboot.bin, exactly that. You're going to open up the resigner, you're just going to click 9. Once you click 9, click enter. It's going to be decrypting the eboot, then click space. Then, now you can minimize. So, I'm just going to tell you that over again, we're just going to do it right over again. So here's the eboot. Let me close this. Open up Resigner and click nine or oops nine, and then click Enter. Oops, crap. Sorry, I can't see my keyboard. And then click Enter. You're gonna see decrypting eboot. It's gonna say finish. Click the space bar. Then now minimize. And then you're just gonna take this eboot.elf. You're gonna open up Resigner once again. You're just gonna type ten. Click Enter. Patching eboot is going to say this. Completely normal, trust me. Click close program. And that should res say resign finish. Now click X on both of the file op uh, programs. Now you're going to delete the eboot.elf and eboot.bin.back. And then you're going to be left with eboot.bin. Drag it to your desktop or wherever you want it to be. And then boom. You just made a eboot. Well, uh, resigned an eboot. So that's how I make my eboots for my SPRX menus that I make. And um, yeah, um, here I'm just gonna show you guys me putting my eboot on. There we go. Wait. Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna install that later. DevHD zero game. Which one is Black Ops three? Um. Black Ops 3 BLUS BLES 2166. Okay. There we go. USDIR. What's this? Okay, whatever. USDIR. And we are going to drag this eboot. Oops. Can't get it into FileZilla. Just going to drag that in there. Click OK. It is going. And boom, so you've just successfully changed your eboot just like that. And yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. It's your boy Damo, and I'm out. See you guys in the next one. Deuces.